It's been a long and rocky road for this funding. President Joe Biden first requesting it way back in August, even inviting Ukraine's president Volodymyr Zelensky here to the White House in December, pledging to send this much needed aid. Now, all these months later, it's become a reality. When our allies are stronger, we are stronger. It took more than half a year, but with the president's signature, more than $61 billion worth of weapons, ammunition, and other assistance are now heading to Ukraine. It's going to make America safer. It's going to make the world safer. And it continues America's leadership in the world, and everyone knows it. The funding package was delayed, especially in the Republican-controlled House, for months amid conservative objections. But it finally broke through the logjam over the weekend when Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson allowed a vote. The yeas are 79. Late Tuesday night, the funding easily cleared the Senate with just 18 no votes. It's not every day you can say you made the world truly a better place. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer calling this a win for bipartisanship. America sends a message to the entire world. We will not turn our back on you. The funding package also includes more than $17 billion in aid for Israel, $9 billion for humanitarian aid, and more than $8 billion for Taiwan and the Indo-Pacific. The funding comes as Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrives in China for high-level talks with senior Chinese officials. And this funding package could have some big impacts on TikTok here in the U.S. It forces TikTok's Chinese parent company, ByteDance, to sell the company within 270 days or face a ban. TikTok executives say they plan to fight this in court. Reporting here at the White House, this is Evan Kozlov, Spectrum News.